Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I wanted to take you on a tour of my house. I'm pre-recording this video because I'm probably moving this week and I know a lot of you guys have been really curious about my house and what it looked like. So let's start on the outside. We'll go to the inside. It's a really beautiful old house. It was uh, born. It was built in 1831, so it is quite the antique. It has had quite the history. So let's take a look. So this is the house that I've lived in for the last 25 years since 1996. Come on in. I've been doing a lot to get it ready to sell. I had the front steps replaced. They were brick and they were kind of caving in. Of course I love my flowers. Got my gardens over here. We'll do a garden tour separately another time. This little portico. And then that's the side yard with the arched gate and more of my garden. So you can hear my neighbor's puppy. And let's go inside. Look who's waiting in the door for us. Hi. All right, come inside. So this is the front hallway. Stairs going up to the second floor. They're pretty steep. My house was built in 1831, so it is a very, very old house. It's almost 200. It's about nine years shy of its 200th birthday. I guess little man is gonna take us on the tour. He'd like to show you what happens under this chair. This room I always called the ladies' tea room. It's just a little front parlor back in the 1830s when the house was built. This would have been like a receiving room. There would have been a nice little fire, coal burning fire in the fireplace. Uh, the house has eight fireplaces because that's how it was heated back then. And they weren't made for wood. They were made for coal, so they had coal braziers in them. And here are the coat closets where the guests would hang their coats. And I turned it into like a fancy ladies parlor. It all started when I bought this cute little chandelier. It's got rosettes on it. And so that determined the color scheme of the room. I made those <laughs> funny window treatments. I made that lampshade over there. This stuff was bought. I painted the floor and it was such a nice room to hang out in. And across the way is what would have been another parlor. This door usually isn't open. I usually have this door shut with a bookcase against the backside of it, but it's open for the showing. So this is my office. This is where I film my videos. Whoops, I said right in that chair there. So I do my editing. And of course there's my camera and my lights. So this is my view when I'm filming. And of course your view when I'm filming is of this part back here. So that's the window and the candles and the little bits of things that you can see over there. I'm gonna miss this space. This isn't gonna be my background anymore, but there's my little YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. Just such a great memory of the day I hit 100,000. That was unbelievable. I can't believe I'm coming up on a million. And this closet up here, high up on the wall, is really interesting. It's called a Bible closet. And apparently it was a reverend that built the house and he was worried that his Bibles would get caught in a flood or something. So he built this half wall high up closet to protect his Bibles. Oh, it's a little sticky, very humid today, from flooding. So I have it full of all my old art supplies and portfolios. I used to be a graphic designer before I was a stay at home mom and then a blogger. So anyway, um, just another funny little feature of the house. So then if we go out through here, we go into the dining room. So it's basically a four square of the original house, one, two, three, four rooms, and they all have a fireplace. And it's always two fireplaces that back up to the same chimney. So this one and the fireplace right on the other side of this wall in my office, they go to the same chimney. And of course they all have original beautiful woodwork. But this fireplace, of course, was the kitchen of the original house in 1831 when it was built. This is where they did all the cooking. So it's got the kettle arm there, and this is the beehive oven over here. And you would have put a fire down here in the firebox, which is now bricked off. But if we open this up, that was like the little beehive oven where they would bake their bread and pies and things. 
So a lot of history in this house. And this doorway was the back door to the house and this door to the closet. This is where the back stairs came down, where the servants came down. There was a front stairs and a back stairs. And we didn't even know there was a back stairs until we redid the upstairs bathroom and we removed the bathtub and we found out that there were stairs underneath it that landed here and that were cut off at the ceiling. So this has always been a closet, just like a, you know, store in your stuff closet for as long as I've owned it, but really nice and big and, you know, put all your nice dining room stuff in there. Um, but then over here, it has this corner built in China cabinet. This is my collection of salt and pepper shakers. I've got some antique ones, some funny ones, all kinds of little things over there. Anyway, this is the other side of the dining room. <gasps> Hi, you guys. Yeah, so love this mirror. I'm definitely taking this mirror to the new house with me. I love that. But most of my other furniture I'm going to be selling. This just doesn't go with my new house. You know, I, I have some, I kind of combined modern and eclectic and antiques here but my new house is super mod and so none of this old stuff will go so trying to sell all of this stuff then if we continue on through the dining room we go into what's now the laundry area there's really no place else to put it so i put it in here when we moved in this was a wet bar and it had a cabinet here and cabinets up top, but I had it converted into laundry. So this is where my washer and dryer are. Just open up these little cabinets and the washer and dryer are under there. And then that's where I fold my laundry and then take it all upstairs. And here's where Big Dog eats her dinner. And here's the kitchen. Oh my gosh, it is so clean. <laughs> You know how you plan on keeping it all so clean and neat and tidy and then life happens and you just, you know, stuff just builds up. So it's really nice that it's so tidy. So anyway, this is an addition off the back of the house. Of course, that used to be, originally that would have been the back door to the house and this would have been outside. So this was added on in 1929, I think. And then we updated it in the mid 2000s. And you guys have seen my kitchen and my cooking videos. So anyway, I'm really hoping to keep my new kitchen at my new house super clean. <laughs> it's very modern. Um, I just replaced this light fixture with this one. This is so pretty. It's like hand blown glass. I just love it. I was going with kind of a watery theme in here. So I have the watered glass up here in these display cabinets. And then I have glass pendants that are kind of like have little um, artifacts in them. It was just kind of going with an under the sea theme. That's why I have the blue cabinets. Ooh, and a big feature is outside the window, there is a robin sitting on her nest. If I get to the, close to the window, she'll fly away. Wait, where is she? There she is. And she's such a good mama. She spreads her wings when it's raining and keeps them dry. And when it's hot, she stands on them and flaps her wings and air conditions them. It's really amazing that it's happening right outside my kitchen window. This is her second year. And last year she had three eggs and they all survived. And then it was so nice watching them <laughs> hatch out and then grow. And then one day they all just jumped out and flew away. And that was the end of it. I missed them so much. I like they were part, they were part of my family. Her beautiful little babies in the nest. And then back here, there's a mud porch, little mud room. So did this and that's the back door where you come in and that is the driveway. Then we have a little half bath down here. And then this is the door that I always go out to take you guys out to the pool area, out to the backyard to do our foundation bright sunshine check-in. So you've seen my patio and it always looks like this. The patio is one place that always looks beautiful. We've got some nice flowers there. I'm taking that with me, taking this all with me. I don't know about the steamer chairs. We'll probably leave them. Um, and that's the yard, my neighbor's house, my pool, little shed. I'll do a separate video that's a garden tour and my little greenhouse and garage. Let's go back out to the front. Then if we go down the hall here, there's just a little space under the stairs 
that used to have all of my extra product <laughs> where I would store it. So this was all cluttered up, but now it's looking pretty. With this little mirrored console table and this old lamp. Then we go in here. I called this room the music room because it has the piano, but um, this used to be the living room of the house. So that room over there didn't exist. Well, it was a three season porch, so it was an unheated room. And then, so that was kind of the end of the house here. And this was a solid wall with two windows instead of the door. And we took out the windows and added the door when we added this room on. This is a cozy little seating area by the fireplace. Really pretty. This is the main fireplace that we used most of the time. We didn't use most of the fireplaces, pretty much just this one. And uh, there's my beautiful piano. This is a player piano. And so if you pull out this little secret compartment down here, there are pedals in there. And if you pump the pedals, it'll play music. And it has these little scrolls that are all hiding back here. And the scrolls go in here. Look at the detail work on this. I really want to sell this, but these basically have no value, unfortunately. So anyway, you slide this open and here's the player compartment. Let's see if I can remember how to work it. I think the glass slides. Yeah, the glass slides. And then you put on the player rolls. And then when you pump the pedals, it plays the music. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that was a nice stroll down memory lane, um, seeing the piano. So then over here is the family room. So as I said, this was a little three season porch and we enlarged it and made it into this lovely family room where the architect wanted to put a fireplace there. And I was like, please, I have eight fireplaces. I do not need another. So I opted for a window seat, which is great. And I love the, um, the clear story windows up there, those are so pretty, you know, built-ins, which now are so out of style. All right, let's go upstairs. My battery's getting low, so I don't know how much power I'm gonna have left. So let's go right to the good stuff, master bedroom. So this used to be my bedroom, um, this little room, which isn't bad, and uh, it was lovely. And there used to be a tiny little bathroom right there that was about, I don't know, seven feet by five feet. But we took that off and we expanded out over the kitchen and put on the master bedroom, which I love. It's just beautiful, another window seat. And that's where the little dog sleeps and that's where big dog sleeps and that's where the grown-ups sleep. Oh, there's my Omnilux masks. And then through here are the closets. So here's my closet, exact same closet on the other side. And then through here is the bathroom. So this would be the his side and this is the her side. There's my mini fridge. You guys have seen this part of my house a lot in videos. Put in a little toilet closet. Then here's the shower. It's looking really pink on camera. It's not this pink. It's just a you know regular gray. And I love this uh, faux bois tile. I just thought this was so beautiful. So I love that. Okay, so. Back through my room, back through the sitting room. This is where I work out. Um, I play my DVDs on that TV. All my workout junk is in that closet. And here's the kids' bathroom. So I redid this at the same time that I did the master edition. So this was really nice for them to get a nice bathroom to share with hers and hers sinks for the two of them. And then a nice little stand-up shower with a rain head. I love the tile in here. I just love this green glass tile. It's so pretty. And the rocks are so nice on the feet. And uh, yeah, there's the toilet. <laughs> so this room was my older daughter's room when she, I think she moved in here when she was in like high school maybe. And usually when I'm filming um, clothes or doing selfies, I'll move this mirror and put it against that bed because you get such nice light through these windows. And then the fireplace makes a nice background. So usually this is the background that you see when I'm doing mirror selfies. And then we go down this little hallway and my other daughter's bedroom is right here. This is her little room. 
she wants everything to come with her to our new home so she's bringing everything so it'll be just like her room at home and then this was the nursery when my older daughter was a baby this was her room and she had this room until she was I don't know 13 or 14 but then later on this became my clothing filming room so that's where that big rack was where I would hang the clothes and then I would model the clothes over here against this wall hard to get enough distance from your camera in here but it's staged to sell as a bedroom that's it for the second floor so then we go upstairs to the third floor and for staging the house the realtor had me move my clothes filming room up here and uh, I'm pretty sure that I filmed a video with all those things in it and uh, this thing here is the chimney stack for four of the fireplaces so there's two giant whopper chimney stacks that go through the center of the house and that's how the four fireplaces are all connected um, four with one chimney stack and then this room was like my storage room i had big shelving unit on this wall that had all my christmas stuff and then i had just you know bins and bins and bins of stuff for halloween and decorating and all this other stuff and generally this room was just packed <laughs> there was maybe two feet to walk from here to the window and that was it and everything else it was just full of stuff that was stored because there's really no storage in this house um, because the closets are also very small. There is space back here, which is now full of stuff for the estate sale. I took everything, you know, like all the extra Christmas stuff and all this other stuff. So this is all potentially for the estate sale back there. That is this foam insulation that they sprayed in when they did the addition. And then there's a little toilet in here. And there is this antique sink that is just so pretty. It's this beautiful little marble sink. So, oh, and I wanted to show you there are the prettiest views from up here, but with the sun right there, it's hard to get it. But pretty views of the backyard and the pool and everything from up here. Just shows you how beautiful the lot is. I'm really gonna miss it. I'm really gonna miss this beautiful yard and doing all my gardening and all my plants and oh, all the work I put into it. But now it's making me tired. It used to be the joy <laughs> of my days to go out there and play in the dirt and garden. And now I just think about it and I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> so on to uh, less maintenance condo living for me. All right, so that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you as always for spending some time with me today and watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.